afternoon everyone hope you all have finished your lunch now let's start with our post lunch session with the first lecture with the speaker dr digambar naik sir i would like to welcome the, the speaker dr digambar naik sir with the topic will usg probe replace stethoscope i would like to invite chairperson for this session are dr bijal kapadia sir and dr ganesh nakle sir May I please welcome Dr. Vijay Kapadia, sir, to introduce Digambar Naik, sir. physician of the country we call him as uh, one of the top most 50 pathfinders of the country along with the great names like uh, dr tayang sir dr devi sethi sir and all he is uh, also creator of vrindavan group of hospitals vrindavan nursing college vrindavan paramedical institute and many more health care programs he is also leading person leading organizations like IMA Goa Medical Council GMA he is also very active person in red cross he is one of the senior most eco cardiologists of the country he has been my mentor from years together he is not only great doctor but a great human being so on the behalf of IPCON 2021 i again welcome you sir and it's always a great privilege to listen you on such an interesting topic welcome sir thank you thank you hello uh, very good afternoon sir yes uh, i hope first you to just give a two minutes break yes okay. so we'll just the two minutes start just a minute i need my slides as a screen on yes sir we are arranging for that yes sir yes yes Hello, sir. Hello. Ah, uh, now may you may please start, sir. Take a minute, sir. Can you I, may please start. Can I share my screen? Yes, sir. Okay.
you see my screen? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. We can. Uh, all right. Thank you, Vijay. Thank you so much. Thank you for giving me this opportunity to be with you at this from this beautiful place called Goa. Well, I think you you will prefer to visit Goa as many times as possible. Well, my topic is a very 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 sensitive topic. More than scientific, I think it's a very emotional topic. Will uh, 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 handheld ultrasound replace our age-old stethoscope? Well, let's look at the universe. We always see the universe constantly evolves. Everything in the universe evolves. Nothing is static. So there we are going to see a lot, a lot of changes over a period of time. Look at our medical practice, right? Look at the way we used to manage the people in ancient time, and mind you, we used to cure them. No stetho, nothing was available, and we could make those people all right. Where it is evolved today, it has come to the stage of a robotic surgery. Look at the evolution of a stetho from that first roll of newspaper to a stage of an electronic or digital stethoscope. This is the evolution we, we, we have gone through. Evolution of an ultrasound. Look at this first ultrasound. We needed one room to build up this ultrasound. From there we keep on we kept on coming down and today your palm of your hand is enough to hold this ultrasound. Your uh, mobile phone is overtaking everybody. It has overtaken your uh, your music or your radio. It, it has overtaken your camera. It has overtaken. It is overtaking practically everything inside your calculators. And now it's also in a mood to overtake your stethoscope. Okay, what can I use instead of a stethoscope? Today we are we are using Think Labs One. This is the digital stethoscope. We are we are using it. Stetho me, we are using it. Eco digital stethoscope. I think a lot of you are uh, uh, using it. Heart buds. These are digital stethoscopes, and and a host of them. I'm sure each one of us has at least one of such units. Let's come, and now we are talking about handheld ultrasound. Okay, one of the commonest one is butterfly IQ. There's one from G also, there is one from Philips also. When we talk about stethoscope, the first you know, picture of Rene Lenek comes to our mind as a founder of Stethoscope. I said, let me put up a small slide of Lenek and so also a small slide of Ian Donald. Well, today the world or many of us are talking about whether your stethoscope will be replaced or no. Look at this, Dr. Eric Topol is one of the top most heart uh, doctor of the world. For according to him, he considers stethoscope is obsolete, means old and outdated. He says it was okay for the last 200 years. But we need to go beyond that, obviously. We need to do better. It is not wrong at all. Now, when we look at the stethoscope, we are looking at using medical science, which consists of Medical uh, sound, a science of sound on the human body. We hear the sound and make a diagnosis. We look, uh, here there are two things. One is hearing and understanding of the sound. And this requires a hell lot of training. And a good hearing ability. If I can't hear well, 
there is no question of me understanding what the, the sounds from the body. And today's digital stethoscope has replaced all these requirements. And these, it can put your sound as a visible picture. It can put, it can give you all the sounds in these various frequencies, as well as it can give, uh, put the murmurs there, as well as with artificial intelligence today, it can almost give you a diagnosis. So stethoscope has not remained behind. It's also going hand in hand along with the development that is happening around. Friends, a white coat and a stethoscope was our sense of pride as we entered into this profession. And we were called doctors. The joy and pride at this stage was unimaginable, especially when we were young doctors. The word stethos basically comes from the Greek word. Stethos means chest and scope means observer. Till today, a physician without a stethoscope is like a computer without its tool. But we have also seen younger doctors today wearing a stethoscope around their neck and an ultrasound in their pocket. Handheld ultrasound somewhere will become an integral part of our physical examination like the finish to use that reflex hammer. Handheld ultrasound will definitely become much a much superior tool when it becomes affordable to common physician. But in, let's, uh, in India, let's look at it. PNDT is a big obstacle in India for us to think of handheld ultrasound to be utilized or to be used in our daily practice. This is, I think this is only in India. But for years, stethoscope will be better appreciated as a symbol of pride of a man capable of healing. Today, you find many of us working with stethoscopes so rudimentary. Sometimes I, um, I, I don't, you, know, you find people who you can't even hear through that stethoscope, but it is there around their neck and it fulfills the job of healing. If you look at handheld ultrasound, it gives us tremendous information about the patient. Say, suppose the heart, lung, abdomen, it gives us huge information. But the cost is very high. It's difficult to learn. You need to learn. You take years to learn. And maintenance is pretty costly. The use of stethoscope is, stethoscope is the most essential diagnostic tool today. But Simultaneously, it's a symbol of pride. It's a symbol, symbol of recognition to the doctor, a symbol of faith to the patient, and a symbol of ability, intelligence, and struggle. It tells, it tells me I'm able, I'm an intelligent boy. I'm, I've struggled in my life to become a doctor and come to this stage. Friends, stethoscope is a timeless diagnostic tool which has been going on for the last 200 years. It's a symbol of faith. It's a symbol of pride. It's a symbol of respected life. It's a symbol of fulfilled life. And it is still extremely useful. I make my diagnosis with the use of a plain old simple stethoscope. I have this electronic stethoscope, but I use the, the old stethoscope because I know the subject well and I can still hear well. And I'm sure, take it from me, this stethoscope will remain with us for another 100 years. Look at the patient perception. Patient is not thoroughly satisfied if his doctor does not carry a stethoscope around his neck while he's examining him. Let me tell you that. Many doctors feel naked if there is no stethoscope around their neck. Today, ultrasound is used everywhere. Besides ultrasound room, it is used in your emergency room, it is used in the OT, it is used in ICU, it is used at for a home, for a home visit, 
and it has been also used in the space. It's one of the safest tool to use, and there is no radiation. There is no radiation, and you can repeat it as many times as possible. So it's, it is one of the best uh, tool in the hands of a physician today. Alternatives to stethoscope, we have this handheld ultrasound and what we call it as empirical mode decomposition. This is, these are all the digital stethoscope that we have today like a hard burst. Handheld ultrasound is definitely complementary to stethoscope, but as of now it is not a replacement to stethoscope. It is costly, it needs training and but it's used, if I can use it, I can avoid a lot of costly tests to the patient because that itself gives me a good diagnosis. At this stage, friends, I just want to mention a few things about what is health. You know, it, it was 1948, gave a different direction to the world that for us health, if ill health, was, disease was um, the absence of a disease. That was a the help to us and disease means having some problem inside. WHO came and described it as, as a, not of just of a physical problem, but physical, physiological, psychological and all that thing. Today, that itself is not sufficient. The way we examine patient, the way with we see patient, the way we help the patient in healing, today we are healers. We are not just doctors who write a prescription. We are basically good healers and we need to be healers. So the patient who comes to me has to get out of my clinic feeling absolutely healed. So for this, I have personally devised this definition of health. For me, health is not just absence of disease or infirmity. It is a well-being of every function of your body. The function could be physical, physiological, psychological, social, economical. It is a balance of you as a bunch of these functions, vis-a-vis -vis the universe. It's a smooth play of your energy with the energy of the universe. Today, you know you are not a solid body, you are a ball of energy. And our environment is also another big ball of energy and you have to gel into each other. Once you create this balance with your universe and with your energy, your energy will start vibrating in tune with that of the universe. Obviously, your body will be full of pleasure and joy, the ultimate joy. This, my friend, is a healthy body and all of us can obtain this. Well, let's come back to the stethoscope. Friends, stethoscope is not dead. It is evolving. It will stand up the taste of time. All the costly handle devices is given an enormous amount of information will never ever be superior to a doctor than his cheap stethoscope, a symbol of being a doctor. At present, it may be replaced by handheld ultrasound, but for abnormal and lung and vascular alteration or an auscultation, it is still the best. Now, what has happened to a stethoscope and our COVID infection? Corona pandemic has definitely given a jolt to the relation between a physician and a stethoscope. For the first time, I'm uh, for years, for the last 45 years, my stethoscope was always around my neck but Corona has separated it from the neck. I see the patient and keep the stethoscope hanging now. We are, for the first time, we are definitely getting aware the stethoscope can be a, a source of, a uh, symbol of infection, both to the doctor as well as to the patient. This, will this be a nail in the coffin of stethoscope? This is one real, real challenge to our stethoscope. Friends, by using a stethoscope, can I practice? Certainly yes. I can cure, I can heal my patient only by using a stethoscope. Should I practice the same way? I don't know. Will I practice the same way? Definitely not. 
I need many more things like ultrasound besides stethoscope for a good practice of mind. Friends, stethoscope will always be there as a symbol of my existence as a doctor, as a part of my life. And I will always be proud of this little tool called stethoscope. With 45 years, I think stethoscope will still stay with me for another 30, 40 years, depending upon how much I practice subsequently. Thank you so much. Any question? Anyone wants to ask anything? 